Why do I bob? Why do I bob? You're finishing off your meal. Then you're feeling something bubbling up from deep inside. Your hands clap over your mouth just in time. Boop! Then you eat and drink. You swallow small bubbles of air. This air gets trapped in your digestive system. The roller coaster of the tubs that your food travels through. After you eat, the air is squeezed as you eat, and the drink is more finally the. Trapped air escapes, making a loud noise on its way out. Air is not only gas that gets trapped in your digestive system. Other gases are formed as food travels through your body. Gets trapped gases that can escape through your mouth, traveling through. Your whole digestive system and acne from your bottom. Blame it on the food. Burping three to four times after a meal is normally normal. You might burp more if you eat too quickly or drink too to a straw, as you will swallow extra air. Getting these trapped gases out of the way is handy because your digestive system has an important job to do. It breaks food down so your body can use all the good stuff locked inside. This progress is called digestion. Fizzy drinks can cause big bubs because they are contain extra gas. The little bubs of a gas called carbon dioxide gather in your tummy before bursting back out. Why is digestion important? Food needs to be broken down before your body can use it for energy and growth. The useful substances in food are called nutrients. Each type of nutrient does a different job in your body. Your digestive system has to break down chunks of food or any particles of carbohydrate, fat, and protein that are tiny enough to travel in and out of your cells and zoom around in your blood. Your digestive system is made. Of several different zones throughout the book, this diagram will help you to discover what your foods face in each zone. This book will take you on a tour around the digestive system. Climb on board the digestive roller coaster to find out how your body breaks down food to get its nutrients inside. Watch out for those things that make you burp. The nutrients found in foods are. The buildings, materials for cells that you could not live without them. Foods such as bread and pasta contain sugars and starches, also called carbohydrates. They provide insane energy. Your body uses energy all the time, even as you sleep. 
Me, fish, egg, and bean contain proteins. Proteins carry out complicated tasks such as carrying messages around your body, killing germs, and building muscles. Special proteins are called enzymes. Even help to digest food. The all foods contain vitamins and minerals. These do special jobs that keep your body healthy. Fruits and vegetables contain a lot of water. Your food provides a fifth of the water you need each day. Milk, cheese, and butter contain fats. Fats keep your body warm and cushion your organs from bumps and bangs. They also release energy. Slow, slow. Your body keeps working even if you haven't eaten for a while. How does digestion start? Seeing, smiling, and even thinking about foods kicks your digest system into action. Survival glad squirt saliva spit into your mouth, ready for the first bite. Teeth are specially shaped to help break food down. After your front tooth bite, a chewable chunk, your tongue pushes the food around your mouth. The flap topped back teeth crushes and grinds it into smaller pieces. The digestive so mouth time 20 seconds. Watch out for biting and grilling teeth to live what does the tongue do? Your tongue is covered in tiny bumps that send information about your food to your brain. Some other spikes keep gripping and moving food as you chew. Other bumps direct whenever food is hot or cold, rough or smooth. The bumps are also home to up 8,000 taste buds that tell you, if your food is sweet, sour, salty, bitter, or uh, umami, along with sight and smell, taste tells your body if the food is safe to eat. Eating the same thing every day will be unhealthy and boring. Our sense of taste means we enjoy a range of foods. What does my saliva do? So far, your food hasn't had much fun as it been. Push your tongue, crushed by your teeth and soaked with a slimy saliva. Digestive enzymes are very powerful. Tarantulas don't need to chew. Instead, they inject saliva into their prey. Enzymes in the saliva dissolve the victims inside, turning it into a soup which the tarantula sucks up. Saliva is also packed with proteins called enzymes. These help your body to break food down more quick. Enzymes grab onto the chemicals in the food and spit them out into particles. Too many tiny to see. A sweet taste. Different enzymes attack food as it travels through your digestive system. Each one breaks down a certain type of food. The exam in saliva begin to digest starch, turning it into tiny particles of sugar. As the sugar washes off your tongue, the food starts to taste sweeter. 
Chewing misses in your food with saliva makes it softer. The mucus in the saliva gives food a slimy coating, so it can't be easy swallowed. The tongue pushes a bowl of soft food to the back of your throat, along with cover the esophagus. Lead the way to your stomach, side behind the myth. Myth, they can only cause a bad breath is not brushing your teeth. Side, brushing your teeth is important. But did you know that dry mouth can also cause bad breath? So why will freshen your mouth by killing bacteria that say building build up your own teeth clean but it top up like drinking plenty of water. What makes a burp so noisy? Your esophagus moves food from your mouth to your stomach. Food doesn't just fall down the pipe. Muscles in the esophagus so rolls squeeze together and push the ball food towards your stomach. It's a bit like pushing toothpaste out of the tube. This swallowing action even works if you stand on your head. Food is moved through your whole digestive system in the same way. Digestive cell. Esophagus and stomach length Esophagus 25 centimeters, 10 inches. Time 2.3 2 to 3 seconds. 4 to 6 hours. Watch out, ball squeezing while suddenly bumps as a journey. Record breaking bump. Paul Hunan pronounced the world's loudest bump in 2008. Yes, 107 decibel blast will damage your hearing if you stood too close. Paul didn't enter by contracting his ab abdomen muscles to force gas out quickly. Your stomach can hold about a liter of chilled food. These com competitive eaters stomach stretch like balloons and they are filled like with food. The muscle to blame. At the bottom of your esophagus, a ring of a muscle opens to let food into your stomach. It closes again to seal the food inside. You can blame this muscle for the noisy burps when it gets trapped. Gas escapes from your stomach. It bursts through, through the ring of the muscle. The muscle vibrates, moves from the side to side, like the neck of the balloon when the air escapes. The white fin make a noise. Air might be able to escape from your stomach, but your food is not is not so lucky. Read on to find out what it faces next. What happens inside my stomach? Your stomach has two jobs. Super stretchy walls that let to store big meals so your body can digest the food slowly. Your stomach also kickstarts digestion by mixing food with the gastric juices. The walls of your stomach are covered in gastric pits which scrub food and a sticky combination of mucus acid and enzymes. Gastric juice, little pits 
in your stomach, lightning pump out around 1.5 liters, 2.5 pits of plastic juice every day. This isn't the kind of juice that you want to drink. It contains enzymes and strong acid. The enzymes start to digest the proteins. The acid kills nasty germs. They may have hitched a rye on your food. It also helps the protein chomping enzymes to work. Strong muscles in your stomach will toss everything around like cement mixture. This turns your lovely meal into a sloppy paste. If you've ever been sick, you know exactly what this paste looks like. There's a ring of the muscle at the bottom of your stomach. It opens to the left, the paste squirts through a little at a time. Extreme body fat. Burping is not green. Cows are the world's biggest burpers. They burp methyl gas, which is formed as grass is digested in their full stomachs. Methyl is one of the gases that cause global warming. There are so many cattle farms that cow birds realize more global warming gas than the world's plate. Planes, trains, and cars. What happens in my small intestine? The small intestine is a long, narrow tube coiled up beneath your stomach. It is uh, here. That is your body finishes digesting and th then absorbs, takes in the nutrients in the food. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. Here, the food is drenched in digestive juices from the pancreas and bombarded by bile from the gallbladder. These juices continue breaking down fat proteins carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals into tiny particles. Digestive zone, small intestine, gallbladder, and pancreas land 6 to 7 meters, 20 to 30 feet, time up to 4 hours. Watch out for fat busting bile. Super enzymes. Enzymes are the intestine secret weapon. As food passes into the small intestine, extra enzymes squirt out from glad in the intestine walls with the water and mucus. Bile is a green digestive juice made by the liver. It is stored in the gallbladder until the body needs it. Bile breaks fat down into tiny piece droplets. Like washing up liquids, dissolving pain greases, enzymes can lock onto these droplets to break them down further. The tin watery food mixture is now full of Particles small enough to pass through the intestine wall.
Then intestine walls are crisscross with the blood vessels that are ready to absorb the nutrients from the digested food. Extreme body fat. Your digestive system breaks down food down into particles that are ten million times smaller than a lump of swallowed food. This is the same as breaking Mount Everest down into grains of sand. How does food get into my blood? The small intestine is actually the longest part of your digestive system. It provides plenty of space for your digest for your body to absorb the, all the nutrients in the food. The intestine lining is not smooth. It is covered with millions of tiny testicles. Cold. Really, these tentacles increase the surface area, so there is even more space. This is a magnified image of Willy. These tiny parts give the small intestine a smooth surface area as big as a tennis court. Most types of food particles, as well as water and minerals, are absorbed through small intestine wall and into the blood vessels that surround it. One, once nutrients are in the bloodstream, their first stop is the liver. The huge organs sorts uh, out the nutrients so that your body does not flood with food after a meal. Some nutrients are stored, others are put back into the blood and sent around the body. Harmful substances are removed. The Pancreas helps out by making a substance that controls the amount of sugar in your blood. Practical advice. How do you know when I'm full? As you eat, your digestive system sends signals to your brain making your, you feel full. This is your body weight of telling you to stop eating. It can take 15 to 20 minutes after the food is first eaten for all these signals to get into your brain. If you eat too quickly, forcing yourself to finish a large portion or Choose too many foods high in fat and sugar. You may take more food than you need. What happens to food in my body can't use? Not everything that you, that you can eat be digested, enzymes can break down many substances found in pl plates. These substances are known as fiber. The leftover material moves into a large intestine, shorter but fatter than a small intestine. Your body is careful not to waste anything useful. Water sold and some vitamins are absorbed. Digestive zone. Large intestine and rectum. Length 1.5 meters, 5 feet. Time 1 to 3 days. Diameter 7 to 10 centimeters. Watch out for billions of bacteria. Large intestine, colon, Appendix, rectum, and anus. Billions of bacteria live in your digestive system. 
and make up almost the turn of your poop. The are known as friendly bacteria because they help your body to break down food. Poo! And water drains out, the leftover material gets harder. It uh, is now solid feces or poop. It contains substances that you, your body wants to get rid of, such as used up red blood cells. These are passed into the intestine from the liver and give feces a brown color no matter what you've been eating. The feces are gradually pushed into the rectum. They are sorted here until they have a chance to exit the body by being pushed through the anus, a ring of muscle at the bottom of the digestive system. This might happen to the next time you visit the loo. Extreme body fat. Bottom burps. If swallowed air is not burped up, it is past a wind. Most people pass wind fart between 6 and 20 times a day. What happens if I eat something bad? Germs such as bacteria love food when bacteria find themselves on a plate of food at the right temperature and surrounded by plenty of air. They quickly grow in numbers. Practical advice. Keep your food germ free. Don't sneeze and cough over food. Wash your hands before cooking or eating. Cook and reheat food. Properly heat kills bacteria. Keep raw food away from cooked food. Store food in airtight containers. Keep your food cool. Bacteria grow more slowly in a fridge or freezer. Bacteria can only be seen with a microscope. These E. coli bacteria live on some foods and can cause food poisoning. Food poisoning. Eating food that has germs on it can make you ill with poison with food poisoning. Your digestive system reached by squeaking food and water out of reach each end. This vomiting and diarrhea helps your body to get rid of the dangerous food quickly. Vomiting starts when germs irritate your stomach, laying sensors send messages to your brain which tells your diaphragm to con contract the ring of muscle at the top of your stomach opens a big push forces food up your esophagus and out of your mouth yuck being sick is very unpleasant. Unpleasant. The gastric juice from your stomach makes vomit very acid. It can burn your throat. House flies don't mind being sick. A fly vomits digestive juices on the food before stocking in stuffed in snack. Back up, this spreads germs very easily. The fly last meal may have been a steamy pile of poop. How I can take care of my digestive system. Your digestive system works hard 
to keep the good bits from food and to get rid of the bad bits. Like any machine, it works better if you take care of the indigestive bloating, burping, and hiccups are a sign that your digestive system might need the uh, solvents. Eating slowly and chewing food helps your stomach to cope with big meals. Eating too quickly can irritate your stomach and esophagus and might also cause hiccups. Extreme body fat. Hiccups for your life. When you hiccup, your diaphragm contains quickly sucking the air. The hiccup is the sound of the flap that separates your air and food. Two snapper shots. American Charles Osborne had the world's longest case of hiccups from 1922 until 1990. A healthy diet. You can keep your digestive system working smoothly by eating healthy diet. That includes fiber. You can't digest fiber, so it gives the muscles your digestive system something to push on as they move. Food through your body. Bulky fiber also helps to, to you to feel full for longer. Your body is nearly two thirds water. Drinking six to eight glasses of water, they keep it topped up. Fiber absorbs some of this water, which makes leftover materials bulkier. High fat foods are difficult for your digestive system to break down. Taking a break from fatty foods helps food to move through your digestive system more quickly. Cacti are very high in fiber. Broccoli and brown bread are better options. If you don't have drawers or or an iguana, how long does Digestive take. On the digestive roller coaster, your food is attacked by protein acids bad in a bile and ambushed by enzymes, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates are broken down and taken up by your blood. This bit of your body does not fancy a soft dry and squeezed out. It is enough to make you burp. Spain Lee Camatia Festival is the world's biggest food fight. About 140 tons of tomatoes are broken up without any help from the digestive system. Extreme body fat. Hungry humans, the average person chops through as much as 45 tons of food in a lifetime. That's the same as eating 14 hippos. Extreme body fat. Astronauts can't burp. Earth gravity pulls food towards the bottom of your stomach. Gases rise to the top where it can be let out with a burp. There is no gravity in space, so the content of the astronaut's stomach floats around inside. This makes it very difficult to burp. If a, a burp happens, it may let out some of the stomach contents of the same time. Eating in space can be tricky. An astronaut digestive system has to work hard too. In just six to eight hours, 
How meal is transformed into a cholesterol of nutrients. Visiting around your bloodstream and helping your body to grow, study, play, and digest the next meal. That's right. It's time to do it all over again.